Hi everyone. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how I went about to create an herb garden. It's something I've always wanted and just never really got around to, you know, making one. I've always done these separate little, you know, maybe some herbs in pots, but I always dreamed of having an actual herb garden where I could stroll through and smell the herbs as I walk through them and harvest them. And what I created isn't very big by any means. It's quite small actually, but I think it's gonna function for us. And let's get right into it and stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'll share with you some new soap that we have available on the Etsy shop. And I gotta say the one kind especially is probably one of my favorites uh, so far. Uh, it's very fitting to this herb garden video, as you'll find out. Earlier this year, my sister Marlene and I had gone to visit some greenhouses. One of them was Green Valley Growers. They are located near Mansfield, Ohio. Uh, if you're local here, I'm sure you've heard of them. They have so many plants. Um, it's just amazing to go there. One of our favorite places. I, of course, was on the lookout for some herbs because I knew I wanted to start an herb garden. Ended up finding some there, but not a whole lot. Um, things were pretty sorted out by the time we got there. It was a little later in the season. So I ended up visiting some more local greenhouses right here in Holmes County and found some herbs there for my little garden. I had showed you guys how I built this twig arbor that I want to have for kind of the entryway to my herb garden. And then I laid out a garden hose to get my shape, uh, sprayed it using a weed killer called Cleanup. I knew I wanted one raised bed to be in this garden. And we have some old wood lying here in the shop, and I thought I'd just quickly make myself a frame. I know it probably won't last for years, but some of this wood actually surprisingly lasts longer than you expect. Basically just cut my boards to size and screw them together. Uh, nothing fancy here. So here we are the next morning, and as you can see, this raised bed is not level. So what I'll do is probably dig out some along the back and try to level it up a bit more. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I really like how it looks from the driveway if I look up towards um, you know, the stonescape, and then I just like to see that raised bed and an arbor kind of above that. Different layers of interest, I guess.
So here's the edging that I did. I basically just did it along the front here. I normally don't edge my flower beds, you know, all the time, but usually when I make a new one like this, I like to create an edge so I, you know, know exactly where I want it to be. And this pipe here is something we want to get rid of. So my plan soil-wise is, of course, to add some topsoil into this bed, and I plan to mix this potting soil in with it. And then as far as the rest of the area, anywhere where I plant something, I'll probably just amend the soil right at that spot. I don't think I'll cover everything. Now the fun begins, planting. I'll show you guys what I have here. Uh, these are mostly herbs. Um, I do have some marigolds that I plan to plant along the front. These always bring memories back to my childhood days. Uh, Mom used to always plant marigolds. I even like the smell of them. So I'm really just doing that for nostalgia's sake, I guess. And they're really pretty, too. Uh, here I have lavender. And here are just your basic herbs. Uh, basil, parsley, dill, uh, rosemary, and oregano, chives. And here I have some catmint, uh, bee balm. I really wished I would have found some other or some more bee balm. This was the only one I found in the few places that I visited today. Uh, I have a cucumber plant, of course not an herb, but I wanted to plant it, see if I could get some cucumbers to grow. And then over here I have yarrow, uh, thyme, uh, agastache. And I have some sage somewhere that might have been over here in that tray. And then here I have those uh, Susie vines, they're called. Of course, not an herb, but I want that to spin up the arbor. So let's start planting. Probably won't get everything done today since we have some plans tonight coming up soon here, but I'll get started at least. Eventually I may end up using a leaf bark combination mulch for this, but for now I have this old straw that I found behind the shop and I think it's going to do a good job of providing some mulch just to keep some moisture in the ground and plus I kind of like the look of you know, an herb garden or a vegetable garden having this sort of mulch you know, versus the bark one. 
I didn't get this on video, but I ended up planting a bunch of spearmint tea. I got it from Marlene. We love garden tea, and I wanted plenty of that. I realize I probably won't get any until next year, but hopefully this will be a good spot for it. I planted some along the back end of the bed, and then also along the right side, kind of underneath the eave. I hope you guys enjoyed the video following along as I worked on my herb garden and hopefully I inspired you to fix up a space for yourself if you're thinking of creating one and even though we have fairly hot and dry weather going on here in Ohio that probably wouldn't stop me from creating a new garden if I wanted one although I would definitely prepare myself to do a lot of watering so getting to the soap that I talked about earlier, uh, my cousin Susie and I came up with a gardener soap, guys. It's probably the best smelling soap I've ever smelled. It's made using the same soap base that we use for all of our soaps, plus coffee beans were added, and it is scented using lime oil. I never realized how good that smells. It's so fresh smelling. And of course, gardener soap is geared towards, you know, getting your hands clean if you're outside gardening but I would definitely use this to shower with too. Haven't so far, but trust me, I will. We also have some other scents that are just amazing. I had shared in a video earlier this year how I had made some rose and peony soap. Uh, that is cured and ready to go. And then we also have some peach and lily of the valley is back along with some other popular scents. Uh, make sure to check those out. I'll have all of the links down below in the description box. As always, I hope your day is going great. Thanks for watching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.